Whenever people think of getting a full-size SUV, the Toyota Fortuner is most likely the first on the list. The Toyota Fortuner has literally become the go-to car for everyone looking for the most efficient and practical SUV. And since it was introduced, the Fortuner has made a name for itself, being widely loved for its reliability and go-anywhere capabilities. In fact, it has become so popular that it has literally no competition in its segment. And because of this, Toyota has bet heavily on the success of the Fortuner. Even the brand knows that most buyers prefer the Fortuner, so to maintain its dominance, Toyota has to ensure that the car is up to date. It has to improve the features of the car, and so far, they're looking good. So what's new with the 2023 Toyota Fortuner? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll look at the 2023 Toyota Fortuner to find out what's new with it. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out about the new features of the 2023 Toyota Fortuner. The Toyota Fortuner is the ruler of the full-size SUV segment in India. It literally enjoys a free run in the segment with no competitor able to match its power. And now, Toyota has decided to extend the advantage even further by bringing the new generation Fortuner. But the question is, what's new with the 2023 Toyota Fortuner? One of the major changes that the Toyota Fortuner will come with is its platform. The 2023 Toyota Fortuner is now built on the Team NGAF platform, which has replaced the existing IMV architecture. This is the same platform that will be used on the new Toyota Innova High Cross, which was released this year. And when you look at Toyota's global Tundra, Sequoia, and Land Cruiser SUVs, they're all designed and built on the TNGAG platform. This platform can support a wheelbase length of about 2,850 millimeters to 4,180 millimeters. Now, this new architecture and platform will help the automaker reduce costs and development time, all while achieving significant gains in economies of scale. The Toyota Fortuner is a four-wheel drive car with four doors and can carry up to seven people. This SUV is powered by a 2.8 liter diesel turbo four engine, which can give the car about 150 kilowatts of power at 3,400 RPM and 500 Nm of torque at about 1,600 RPM. All this power is transmitted through a six-speed electronic automatic. Toyota has claimed that one of its variants, the Fortuner GXL, will use about 7.6 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers when riding in the city and on the highway. Even the emissions are a little low, only emitting about 201 grams of CO2 for every 100 kilometers. To fill the tank, you'll need about 80 liters, and when you have a full tank, you can travel for about 1,053 kilometers without having to refill. With the new platform of the Fortuner, Toyota will be adding a new mild hybrid setup. In this setup, the new Fortuner will come with an alternator to assist during acceleration and power the car at lower RPMs. When it comes to the dimensions of the Fortuner, it's about 1,835 millimeters, 72.2 inches in height, 4,795 millimeters, 188.8 inches in length, and 1,855 millimeters, 72 inches in width. This comes with a wheelbase of about 2,745 millimeters, or 108.1 inches. All this brings the car's weight to an estimated total of about 2,185 kilograms, of nothing but unladen weight. The Fortuner GXL comes ready for some fun off-road, given that it comes standard with 265-65 R17 front tires and 265-65 R17 rear tires. Servicing is only done after six months or when it travels 10,000 kilometers. The Toyota Fortuner is ready for some offloading with a ground clearance of about 216 millimeters. This is enough to go off the road and explore the wilderness without any stress about whether or not the car will be damaged on the underside. With this, it comes with a ground clearance of about 3,100 kilos when it's braked and 750 kilos of unbraked towing capacity. There are a lot of new features in the 2023 Toyota Fortuner, starting with the infotainment system. The current generation of the Toyota Fortuner has been given an 8-inch infotainment system with smartphone connectivity, including Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. In addition to that, it will also come with essential connected car technology, all of which work to enhance the convenience features of the car. However, we can say that the overall user experience is laggy, along with the basic UI. Toyota could do something about it. The display quality is also not up to par with the lower refresh rate. Even though Toyota has tried to make the infotainment system, they still have a long way to go. There's room for improvement and hopefully we can expect bigger and better units in the new upcoming Fortuner. 
Toyota has given us a new infotainment system and even a new instrument cluster. The lower segment cars have started to offer a digital unit, which Toyota certainly does not have. And even though the 2023 Toyota Fortuner is not that expensive, it still gets an analog setup that looks great, but it doesn't have the information that drivers want to see on the dashboard and digital display. The Japanese automaker should consider giving the Fortuner a new instrument cluster design. Or, if they can't do that, they can at least add a semi-digital unit. Some features like this could potentially improve the premium quotient of the car and make buyers happier with the layout of the dashboard. Another new thing with the 2023 Toyota Fortuner is that it now gets a sunroof. The sunroof has become a very important feature, especially with new cars. Now, they're being added to each new car, regardless of its segment. In fact, the sunroof has become such a popular and beloved feature that it's even being added to some hatchbacks. Even though other cars have a sunroof, the Toyota Fortuner does not. This is despite the fact that it is a luxury SUV. When people try to figure out why the Fortuner has never had a sunroof, there are claims that it obstructs the reliability factor, especially given that it can carry things on the roof. However, this feature has been in such high demand among Fortuner buyers that there is a possibility that the new car will come with a sunroof. But the question is, will Toyota really go for it? Given the size of the Fortuner, which we've seen is about 4,795 millimeters in length, it's quite a large SUV. This means that when you're parking, it can prove to be hectic if you're not used to it. To help with this, Toyota has introduced a 360 degree parking camera, which is a great advantage, especially when packing the car in tight spaces and managing its cramped conditions. This is quite a neat feature to have and all the big cars should have it too. As a company, Toyota is not one to welcome changes and modern features. However, it is trying to change the perception, and considering what we've seen with the Toyota High Cross, we can tell that it can. Therefore, we can see the Toyota Fortuner getting the same treatment. This means that, in addition to the features already mentioned, it could also come with a wireless phone projection. The question is, will the car come with ADAS? ADAS stands for Advanced Driver Assistance System, and it comes with a bunch of safety features. Some of them are blind spot detection, automatic emergency braking, automatic parking assist, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, and lane departure. Therefore, there is a possibility that we might see the 2023 Toyota Fortuner with all these features as part of the Toyota Safety Sense. After all, even the Toyota High Cross has it. With all these changes, something we should not expect to see is a reduction in price. First of all, it will come with the TNGAF platform which will definitely lead to an increase in price. If you add the mild hybrid setup and all the new features, there's no way that they will be cheaper. Therefore, if you're waiting for the 2023 Toyota Fortuner, you need to accept that you will part ways with a lot of cash. What do you think of the 2023 Toyota Fortuner? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for some of the latest updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.